go. Mike Bader here at Better Built Trailers in Greenfield, Kansas. We're going to take a little walk around today on our largest hay trailer we manufacture, the 16 bale round bale hay trailer. These cradles right here are 42 foot long. Two rows, 42 foot long. Then you got a nine foot neck on here, that's a 51 foot trailer. To haul this kind of weight, we had to come up with a heavier frame, a heavier axle, and a heavier tire to do the job, and we've done that. We're the only one in the industry right here that uses tuba four box tubing in our cradles. Everybody else uses tuba two all the way. Where the weight really loads it is in the bottom of the cradle. We use two by four, never had one bent ever. Down here in the frame rail, in the bottom frame rail, we had to use a heavier box tubing, 3 8 wall. On the 14 bale or quarter wall does wonderful. Never any trouble, but on this trailer we went to a bottom frame rail that's heavier. Right back here, there's a lot of length from the hitch to the axle. So we used a bridge truss strap underneath our main frame. It takes the sag and the belly out of this trailer. It don't flex much at all when it's loaded. And uh, just a little bit of weight here tremendously increased the strength of the trailer. We go right on back here. We use a Rockwell American 12K axle. Five inch brakes on all four duels. 12,000 pounds rated each. We use a Westlake all steel 14 ply tire. What a great tire this has been. We talked to Rockwell American back in the early days. We had some oil hub problems. They said go back to a grease packed hub. We've done that. Um, I say every five years the hubs need serviced, but we don't have uh, people forgetting to check oil in their hubs or seals leaking. We don't have the spindles and the bearings burn up now at all like we did with the oil hubs. This has been real good thing for the farm industry where a trailer sets a while before it's used or it don't get checked properly. This has been a great savings as far as uh, repair costs. We go right back here. We have all LED lighting. Everything runs in conduit. There's no bare wires. All our wiring is soldered. There's no crimp connectors on this trailer. We have the stop turn tail lights on the back. We have the side clearance lights. Up in the middle of the trailer, we have the midship amber turn signal marker on the side. On the back here, we have a lot of customers will load this trailer with a spike or a spear. You can push your bale right on here. It'll slide, it won't pull the string off or the neck wrap off. They'll push them on all the way to the front. A lot of the customers load from the side, one or two at a time. That works very well. Or you can load from the back on these runners. It'll, that bale slide. We'll go back up here and take a look at the front of the trailer at our um, latch mechanism. We call it a wishbone. It comes down through the middle of the trailer. There's eight huge pins on this trailer and they have rollers on them. That takes the friction out of that latch mechanism. Never had a roller or a pin bent, so they're doing their job very well. We'll go up to the front and I'll show you how that works. a lot of weight and uh, a lot of guys will pull this with a real good one ton dually or a semi and when they're hauling bales all day they don't always want to get in and out of the truck so we've got a battery we've got a 12 volt hydraulic electric pump unit two hoses a six inch by two inch diameter cylinder here that runs my wishbone back and forth that's what trips the latch mechanism. Fail safe. It comes with a key fob. You can uh, run this wire, wire, wireless remote from the cab with a key fob. And if you misplace that, then we've got a button right here on the tray. 
Now the trailer does come with a spare tire and wheel, 14 ply, dual jacks. We have figured out these gooseneck gussets. They've been, they've evolved. This is tied in here. Very, very strong box tubing, neck and gusset system. We're pretty proud of that. We don't have any trouble with that at all. This is trailer number 545. We've got, a, got them all over the country and they're all doing well. This is Mike here at Better Built Trailers in Grainfield, Kansas. Call us at 785-673-5100. Thank you.